Well, two House committees vote 25 to 18 in favor of a bill that would legalize same-sex marriages in the state. The House Judiciary and the Health and Government Operations Committees voted to send the measure to the full House. This follows a major rally at Lawyers Mall on Monday night calling on lawmakers to vote in favor of the legislation. Former Governor Paris Glenn Denning says the bill has personal significance for him. Uh, I think it is way past time that as a nation we got over our individual hang-ups uh, and recognize that uh, people are equal and ought to be treated equal. Uh, I um, uh, think of my own uh, uh, family experience in terms of my brother who was gay, who unfortunately died of AIDS, uh, but who served his country in the Air Force for 19 years and was never allowed to even express his sexual orientation in society. Uh, and then I watch the changes that are going on. I see the Washington State has just adopted this. Uh, by the end of this decade, it will be almost universal. In fact, I suspect by that stage, the Supreme Court will probably have to step in and apply it nationwide because you can't have that much of, a, of a discrimination from one state to another. Two weeks ago, advocates for traditional marriage held a rally in Annapolis asking those same delegates not to change how marriage is currently defined in Maryland. Maryland is the 45th in the country in credit card debt, according to state comptroller Peter Franchot. That's why he's pushing lawmakers to pass a financial literacy bill. The legislation would require all Maryland students to take a course in money management before graduating. Franchot says it's important for the country's financial health. Everyone here today is painfully aware of the devastating scope of our nation's ongoing economic crisis, one that has spared no sector of the American economy, no region of the country, and no segment of our society. I strongly believe that if people from our generation and our children's generation had received the benefit of financial education, fewer people would be drowning in debt today Fewer people would be facing the devastating losses of their home and their financial security. And the legislation is slated for a hearing this afternoon.